SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Wade, his hard pass, Cadre shoots, he scores! Nazem Cadre at the end of the tournament. Hi, and welcome to Where's the Action? My name is Ross Benjamin. I'm going to be discussing Saturday's college football contest between the South Dakota State Jackrabbits and the Nebraska Cornhuskers in a game that takes place in Memorial Coliseum at Lincoln, Nebraska, with kickoff at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. Currently, Nebraska is a 19.5 point favorite in this contest. And what a tumultuous week it's been in Lincoln, Nebraska, starting with last Saturday's home game versus UCLA. The Cornhuskers jumped out to an early 21-3 lead, only to watch UCLA score the last 37 points of the game. Nebraska falls to UCLA 40-21 and suffers their first loss of the season. The Nebraska defense continues to be a problem. They allowed over 500 yards in that contest. And if you go back to their season opener against Wyoming, when they were better than a four-touchdown favorite and barely got by 37-34, they allowed the Wyoming Cowboys to amass over 600 yards of total offense. They'll be facing a South Dakota State team that enters this week ranked number six nationally in the FCS poll. Now, they've started out 3-0 this season, all against FCS opponents, but their major reason why they've had early success is the fact this is a South Dakota State team that's at a plus 10 turnover margin in their first three contests. As a matter of fact, this Jackrabbit squad has been outgained in their first two games of the season, but were able to survive because of the turnovers. Another big factor is their pass defense. They allowed 757 yards combined in the air in their first two contests of the season. Big concern going against an FBS opponent. All of that being said, Taylor Martinez was hurt in last week's loss against UCLA. That's a starting quarterback for Nebraska, for those of you who don't know. He was removed from that contest, and he's doubtful for Saturday's game. Ender Ron Kellogg, senior, has attempted 14 career passes. A lot of unknown when it comes to Kellogg and how he'll produce in a starting role. Nebraska is a 19.5 point favorite. A lot of defensive deficiencies. South Dakota State loves to run the ball. They're averaging over 200 yards per game on the ground. And the Cornhuskers, as we've seen in the first three weeks of the year, have been very vulnerable, not only defensively, but especially allowing huge chunks of yardage on the ground. Gave up over 200 yards rushing to Wyoming, over 200 yards rushing to UCLA. South Dakota State will be effective running the ball. The key for the Jackrabbits will be to keep this game close because they don't want to fall behind a couple touchdowns and have to become one-dimensional. Their passing game is average at best. Now with a plus 10 turnover margin and playing against an inexperienced, even though he's a senior, he's an inexperienced quarterback in this role as a starter, I like and have a small lean on the underdog in this situation. I'm going to take the South Dakota State Jackrabbits plus the 19 and a half with the smallest of leans, folks, in this contest on Saturday over the Nebraska Cornhuskers. My name's Ross Benjamin. You've been watching and listening to Where's the Action? I hope you have a wonderful weekend. All the best of luck, and thank you for listening. Wait, his hard pass. Can we shoot? He scores!